Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a simple poster design as well as on Photoshop. And I'll try to keep it as simple as I can. Uh, but uh, these are the same techniques that I apply on my client work too. So hopefully you guys learn something new from this tutorial. And if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you want to get the PST file and all the brushes and color alerts that I'm using in this project, it's available on my Patreon. And the Patreon link is on the description below. So with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop. So first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to File, click on New. And I'll just go for 8.5 over 11 size. And keep the resolution as 300 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create then right after that let's uh, drag and drop uh, this image right over here let's minimize this one and let's keep it maybe somewhere around here and let's create a layer max and go to the brush with the black color selected, let's erase these parts. Yep, just like so. Now let's uh, drag and drop another image right over here. And Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Yep, something like that. And let's create a layer max and let's erase the hot edges from here. So again, with the black color selected. Let's erase those parts just, just like so. Yep. And let's drop down the opacity just a little touch. And let's keep this a little bigger right around here. And now let's uh, drag and drop our main player image right over here. And let's make it a little bigger, Control T. Let's keep it maybe right over here. So we're gonna tweak these things later. So before that, um, let's keep this player image inside a group. So select this layer, press Control G, and let's rename it as a player. And let's create a layer max and go to the brush. And I will go for uh, this water splashes brush. So if you want to get this brush, please check on the description list below. And let's uh, make the color black. And let's erase some of these parts. And let's get these parts back. Yep, let's keep it like that. And now let's create a new layer. And let's go for another brush. Let's see. Let's go for this one. And let's make it a little bigger. And I will just go for kind of this color. Yeah. Now let's create a new layer and let's go for the same brush and let's add one in the background like so and let's drag and drop the cloud image on the background maybe this one on the background like that and let's keep it all the way to the bottom and control G let's make it a little smaller yep somewhere around this size all right now let's add a rectangle and let's make this black and let's make it maybe like this size Alt and drag, let's make a copy, select both 
or maybe let's keep it two together and select both let's alt and drag make another copy select all those alt and drag and again select everything alt and drag So select all the rectangles and let's merge this and then let's control T let's make it a little smaller just like so and let's drop down the opacity maybe something like that and let's keep this layer yep something like that and now let's do some color adjustment for this main image so select uh, this player image go to filter and let's go for a camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture and let's increase the noise reduction increase the sharpening just a little touch and uh, let's drop down the saturation for orange maybe just like so and let me increase the clarity a little more so, yep and uh, let's drop down the highlights yep something like that and uh, let's click on ok Alright, you know what, like, let's drop down the opacity some more, maybe something like that. And now let's uh, drag and drop another image, yep, this one, maybe right over here, and let's keep it all the way to the bottom. Control G and let's drop down the opacity just just like so. Now let's add some text. And let's add a skew. Maybe. Just like that. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Yeah. Something like that. And now let's make a copy. Control J. And let's drop down the size. Maybe some more. make another copy control and let's add a sip and yep I think this one is good to me Let's make a copy of that shape layer. So control J, control T. Let's keep this maybe, maybe right over here. And now let's keep everything inside a group. Control G. And let's make a copy of the background layer. Control J. And let's keep it right on the top. And let's create a clipping max. And let's increase the opacity just like so and control t let's yep maybe let's keep it something like that and let's move this arrow maybe 
right around here and let's keep it a little smaller yeah let's add a curve and let's click on clip to layer and let's increase the brightness and maybe, yep maybe something like that Control G Yep, let's keep it yep, maybe something like that and now let's add another text so let's make a copy Control J Control T let's keep it right over here and let's move this text all the way to the up Maybe right over here so and now let's add a color look so go over here add a color lookup and from here click on load and I'll just use this moodlet so select this one and click on load so this is what we have now let's add a color balance so go up here add a color balance and let's go more toward yep towards the yellow yep something like that and now let's add a new layer go to the brush and I will just go for a default general brush and let's make it black and let's drop down the opacity yep something maybe something like that and let's move this text a little down maybe right over here something like that and now let's do a final color touch up so select all this control shift e let's merge it and let's go to the filter and let's go to the neural filter and let's click on style transfer and i will go for this look select this one and click on preserve color let's increase the detail yeah just like so and let's click on ok and from here let's change the blending mode to to soft light and let's create a layer max and go to the brush and let's go for a general brush and and with the black color selected let's erase some of these parts where I don't like those effects affecting yeah, maybe, yeah, just remove some of these parts, maybe right around here too. And let's merge everything again. Control Alt and Shift plus E. And let's go for a dodge tool. And let's add some dodge over here. And maybe right over here too. Maybe it's a little too much, so let's drop down the opacity. Maybe just like so. So, yep, that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And see you guys in the next video.